a sequence of four amino acids known as KDEL, which is lysine, aspartate, glutamate, and leucine. This sequence is important in targeting proteins for the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Proteins which possess this sequence of amino acids can be transported to the RER. While they possess this sequence, they will be sequestered in the RER and not transported from the RER. And prior to movement from the RER to, say, the Golgi, this sequence must be removed. So this sequence is important for targeting proteins to the RER. Proteins can be targeted for transport to the peripheral SER by possessing the four amino acid sequence HIEL, or histidine, isoleucine, glutamate, and leucine. Some proteins have amino acid sequences which bind to other proteins known as importins, which transport these through the nuclear pore from the cytoplasm into the nucleus. There are several known nuclear localization signals, such as this one, which begins with proline, followed by three lysines, an arginine, a lysine, and ending in a valine. Some proteins are packaged into vesicles at the ER exit sites and transported to the Golgi, while other proteins are packaged in the Golgi and undergo retrograde transport back to the ER. Proteins which possess two adjacent phenylalanine amino acids or two adjacent tyrosine amino acids can be packaged into vesicles heading towards the Golgi, while Proteins which possess two adjacent leucine amino acids could be packaged in vesicles to go back to the ER. Proteins may be signaled to be transported to peroxisomes by three amino acids, serine, lysine, and leucine. Proteins which possess a signal sequence will pause during translation and bind a signal peptide, which transports the ribosome and the partially translated protein to the RER so that uh, translation can be completed as the protein is transported inside the RER. There are a variety of sequences which perform this function, although they typically have a set of hydrophobic amino acids which can form an alpha helix and are perhaps preceded by positively charged amino acids. Proteins which are transported to the mitochondria can be recognized by a mitochondrial targeting sequence of about 20 to 50 amino acids, which is rich in hydrophobic amino acids. Thus, there are proteins throughout the cell which will bind to other proteins and transport them to their appropriate destinations. These proteins functioning in transport recognize a number of localization signals, which are short amino acid sequences in the proteins which are being transported.